Hi all, welcome back with another useful video. Now this video was highly requested by many of you from a very long time. In fact, I had taken few parts of this video even before Ramadan but couldn't complete it. So hence posting it now. It's all about seasoning clay pots on gas stove. I had once shown the traditional method by using rice husk and seasoning it on the traditional clay oven in one of my Kerala vlogs. Ever since then many had kept asking me the method on gas stove. Now this video is all about that but not just that I have even included how to clean and maintain it so hope you would like it keep watching Here from Lulu I had bought clay glasses which I'll show you how to season the same method applies for any type of clay pots or any utensils made of clay slight changes towards the end I'll show you that at that time the main thing you need for this is rice starchy water. This is the water that you get after cooking any type of rice. You will need quite enough for this. It should be cooled down. Now immerse the clay pots or clay glass whatever in it completely. Make sure the pots sink in it completely. Here for that reason I transfer to a bigger pot. Put all the pots completely in. You can add little water if the quantity isn't enough. Now keep the pots and glasses as such for 2 days and change the starch water each day. You can see the bubbles that's coming out. That's how it becomes strong. Cover and keep aside. After 2 days, take out the glass or pot whatever. Just use a scrubber to clean. You may use a sponge, it's okay. I'm using a steel scrubber here, just slightly scrubbing it. And it's all clean now. Now if you're using a glass or any drinking water pot, you can do as such as I've shown here. Pour water in it and keep for 3 days. Then discard the water and start using the glass or water pot. But if you're using a cooking clay pot, after cleaning from the rice starchy water, dry it overnight or in sunlight. Or to do it quickly, you may keep it on stove in low flame, but I would prefer to make it dry by itself. Then spread some cooking oil and keep for one day. Then the next day onwards, you can start cooking in it. Now after cooking for a long time, if your cooking pot is leaking at the bottom, it's time to discard the pot. If you season correctly, it will definitely have a long life. Now before going into deep cleaning, let me show you how I normally clean the clay pots on a daily basis. Tips I have always got from you all, thank you so much for that, so sharing it in this video. Add some gram flour or basin, that's a basin flour. Or you may even add rice flour. Then add some salt. Then scrub it and clean well. Earlier I used to add some dishwashing liquid and that's how I used to clean. But that's a wrong method because the soap would get into the pores and it would react with the food that we eat. So don't do that. Clean it well and dry it either by keeping it in the sunlight or you can even do how I do it. Dry it in very low heat. The reason why you need to do this, I'll tell you in some time. Once completely dry, you can keep it in your cabinet. Now if you feel that your pot still has that oily or the food smell in it, 
you can fill it up with water not completely to the top leave some space so that water doesn't spill out keep on the stove on low medium heat and let the water boil now boil for around 10 minutes and then off the flame You can see the oil on top. Throw away the water and just simply scrub it or you may even add some ground flour if you want to clean it with that. Now it will be completely cleaned and the smell would be gone by this time. Again dry it in sunlight. or overlow heat on the stove like i said earlier now moving on to deep clean method which is not necessary all time if you're cleaning it every time like my previous method but i do this once in a while to maintain my clay pots because i regularly use clay pots for cooking I do this maybe once in 2 or 3 months. Now clean like how I showed earlier adding gram flour or rice flour and salt. Then again fill water not up to the rim a little below to avoid spillage. Add around 2 heaped tablespoons of baking soda. Then you need lemon slices, just three or four. Add to the pot. Keep covered and let it boil. Now open the lid and let it boil as such for 10 to 15 minutes. Then off the flame. Once the water is a bit cooled down, discard the water. then clean with a scrubber or you may even add ground flour if you want then keep on the stove on low heat or in sunlight then you can off the flame and keep it in your cabinet Now why I always say to keep your clay pots dry after cleaning is because if you don't do so you will see these fungus kind on the pots. Sometimes in hurry bury we try to keep it as such in the cabinet without drying it. So that's why this happens. So how to clean this is really very simple. All you need is baking soda for cleaning by making a paste. Into a bowl take a little amount around 1 or 2 tablespoons or even more if needed. add water little at a time and make a paste don't add too much water all together make a thick paste because you'll need to scrub on the pot wash the clay pot with plain water first just to make it wet add the baking soda paste and apply all over rub well on the outside and inside of the pot the fungus can appear outside as well as inside 
here on my pot it was only on the outside. Keep as such for half to one hour. Then wash it off. Now if it is tough moulds, like you see too much fungus on it, dip in a solution of hot boiling water, almost the quantity needed to completely immerse the pot. And add 2-2.5 to two and a half tablespoons of baking soda. Leave the pot in that hot water solution for almost 2 or 3 hours and wash and dry in sunlight. All the tough moulds will go away. Hence the video, hope you found it informative. Cooking in clay pots enhances the taste of the food and it's very healthy too. But cleaning and maintaining is a bit tricky, so do follow the steps I have shown here. I shall link below some pre-seasoned clay pots below, you may check it out if you need them. Now I'll be having one more vlog coming up and then my vacation series will begin. So see you soon with another video, until then take care, bye bye.